Hey guys, today we're gonna cover what are expected goals in football. Now, if you see the StatsBomb logo uh, on your screen, it means that I will use StatsBomb terminology and uh, explanations of expected goals because it's one of the best, if not the best, football data provider in terms of these kind of metrics. So let's get started. If you are interested in football, chances are you have already come across uh, this expected goals metric. Uh, so in, on your screen, you see this result of the match between Lazio and Atlanta, 3-2. And there is this expected goals measure with 1.57 for Lazio and 0.98 for Atlanta. After watching this video, you will get pretty good idea what these numbers mean. So let's get started. What is expected goals metric? To put it simply, expected goals is a metric that calculates the probability of a shot resulting in a goal. This model relies on thousands and thousands of shots with similar characteristics. They are the basis for expected goals calculations, the measure that ranges between zero and one, where one means there is literally zero chance for of scoring a goal, while one means uh, there is 100% uh, percent chance of scoring a goal. So let's make an example to understand this concept uh, like more easily. So for example, an expected uh, goal uh, value of 0 0.25 means there is 25% chance of scoring a goal after a shot. In other words, we may expect to score four goals out of 10 shots with similar characteristics. Now let's dive into history a bit. It's not a secret that goals is the most important element in the football, the crucial one. But there is a serious problem with them, with the goals. The number of goals uh, in a match is too small to deep dive and analyze them thoroughly and make quite reliable conclusions. On average, there are like 2.53 goals per match. Not such a huge room for, for research. So football analysts started to look for other key elements and essentially, and essentially came around shots, which happened like 10 times more frequently than goals. It was total shots ratio that came to their mind at first. It helped uh, determining team advantage by simply measuring its number of shots. Yet not shots are equal, obviously. Therefore, analysts decided they need to measure the quality, the quality of the shots. That's how expected goals metric was born. Why does expected goals metric is important? And is it important? It's hard to believe at first, but expected goals is the most accurate metric out there to predict future performance of a team and its players. Let's leave the physical and psychological metrics alone for now. So, for example, on a team level, expected goals predicts future performance better than total shots ratio, goals difference, and actual goals scored by a team. That's why expected goals models allow us to not only measure the current performance of a team and players, but also predict the future one based on qualitative measures uh, our team has today. Now, what factors impact expected goals metric? Now, different data providers may use slightly different ways of calculating expected goals, but the basic param parameters are the following. Distance to a goal, which is logical. Angle to a goal, which is logical as well. It's way more difficult to score a goal from the corner, right? Part of the body shot was performed with, which is kind of logical as well. Type of a pass or other previous action like dribbling, set piece, cross, and so forth. Some providers also take into account goalkeeper position, attacking and defending teams' positions, goal height, and so forth. Now, 
how accurate is expected goals? You don't have to be a top-level statistician to figure out that for shots with expected value of 0.25 each will not result in a goal 100% of times. Yet, one research suggests that depending on the model quality, between 79% between and 90 3% of team seasons should be expected to match expected goals to actual goals within a 95% confidence interval. Now about uh, one interesting, interesting thing. What's the expected goal of a penalty? Now some may think like 90%, 100%, which is not accurate, uh, of course. Depending on the model, expected goals for a penalty ranges between 76 and 78%. It means that out of 100 penalties, we may expect around 77 uh, shots uh, would be a goal. Now, how expected goals are used in football? To put it uh, like briefly, it, they are used for team analysis, player analysis, scouting, modeling, and forecasts. Now, it's very important to note that even though expected goals is a very important concept measuring teams and player, uh, players' performance, but it's not a silver bullet. Now, going back to this screenshot of uh, this match between Lazio and Atalanta, now we can see that uh, there is 1.57 uh, expected goals for Lazio and 0 0.98 expected goals for Atlanta. What these numbers mean? Well, uh, 1.57 um, for Lazio, expected goals for Lazio, means that the uh, total number the total sum of ex all expected goals from shots made by Lazio is 1.57, whereas 0 0.98 is a total sum of all the expected goals of all the shots Atalanta made during this match. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video. Click like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next videos.